the light okay? Yeah, good morning, everybody. Um, I believe we're live on Facebook. We're just going to just double check that. Um, here we go. Yes, it's all happening. Happy New Week, everybody. I am super, super excited to be joined uh, next to me with my recently published author of Walking with Prada, Sylvia Mesa. Um, good afternoon over in Florida uh, on a Sunday on your Thanksgiving. How are you, man? I'm so good. amazing. I'm good so evening. amazing. And thank you for taking time to do this interview on a holiday over there. You no, know, I, I appreciate so much your time and, and interviewing me for this amazing yeah. work that have, we have done together. We have, <laughs> Thank we you. have. And I had the beautiful pleasure of actually meeting mm -hmm. Sylvia face to face um, mm -hmm. in April this year. Yes. It's really only been since April. And what are we now? November. So it's November. Really six or seven months. And she happened to join our program like literally seven days before I was in Florida and I was hosting this Florida lunch and I said, I want to know face to face and she drove two hours to the lunch. Yeah. You spend one hour with us and then you had to drive back. Wasn't that the, the story? Yes, yes. It was it was incredible. Um I went to um the first I heard about you on Facebook and I log in into the seminar that you give for free. Yeah, because I'm always you know, trying to learn and see new ways and see what I can find. And since I had the book idea on my mind for a long time, and I saw the opportunity to learn about your your work, I said, okay, I'll let, I, I do it. So um, I, I watched for like maybe 20, 25 minutes and I had to leave. I closed the, the phone and then later I received a call. Yeah. And it was Ricky asking me, um, you were in the seminar. What happened? You left and this and that. I said, well, I have to go. But uh, she goes, but you have a book to write, correct? And I say, yes, I have. So she goes, well, you know, this is your opportunity. And I and kind of, usually I hang up really quickly to calls that I don't really you know, know what about. But she was very uh, experienced explaining everything and and I cut my attention and I said well maybe I can give it a chance and that's when the, we started talking and yeah. she mentioned you know all the process because I said well I don't have anything ready I don't have manuscript I don't have anything done and she goes no worry about it we'll tell you we'll take you all the steps and uh, you will get it there and we're here and massive book yeah. that you have put together exactly so let's talk yeah, about so the, that's why she introduced me to you yes and you sent me the message that you were meeting here in miami so yeah. i say well I you I know what believe, i can't believe how everything connected and you were able yes. to come and and now we've been seeing each other online since then and of course the book is yes. now here pre-christmas what a wonderful gift for a family or, uh, you know. It um, is. It is very special. It is a very special book. Yes, I love it. Aww. My little brother here. Yeah. She, is, she was an amazing, amazing thing in my life. Amazing dog. Give, I know we've got stuck in the, the conversation, but let me give the official introduction of who you are, where you've come from. Then we'll talk a bit about how long had you been thinking about writing a book? How long did it actually take? Because as you said, you started from absolute zero, ground zero. Yes. This book has got so many beautiful photos and stories and things like that, guys. But let me uh, give you the introduction and then we'll get stuck into that. All right. So Sylvia Mesa was born in Barquisimeto. Barqui. <laughs> how do you say it? Bar Barquisimeto. Barquisimeto, Venezuela, on March 1970. In 89, her family decided to move to Miami, Florida, seeking a better life. In 95, Sylvia got married to Miguel Mesa and had yeah. two children, Cristina and Carlos. Sylvia graduated from FIU in 98 with a bachelor degree in business administration. She currently works in as, a, as an administrator for her dad's real estate company. In 2017, uh, she, uh, she became a therapy dog handler and teamed up with her golden retrievers, Prada, Charlie Brown, and Lalique. 
Sylvia loves so much her work as a therapy dog team that she got a certification from Oakland University in human animal intervention. After six years working as a volunteer in libraries with her therapy dog, Charlie Brown, Sylvia decided to look for a certification that could facilitate her to work with children. In January of 23, she obtained a certification from Adventure in Wisdom, a program that helps kids with their mindset skills. Sylvia is now a life coach for kids with her partner, therapy dog, Charlie Brown. Together, they run Charlie's Wags of Wisdom. Sylvia currently lives in Miami with her husband, Miguel, uh, he, uh, her children, Christina and Carlos, and her dear animals. Uh, Walking with Prada is her first book. All right. So tell yes, me, sorry if yes. I mispronounced some of the names and all that. Um, you did very well. Don't worry about I it. I tried to put on the, the accent. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit about Walking with Prada. Who was Prada? You know, tell us, you know, how long had you been wanting to write a book and all that sort of stuff? Yes. Uh, Prada came into our life um, the day she was born, basically. Um, as I tell them the story, um, her dad and uh, mom lived across the street from me. So one day I, I saw this golden retriever that totally, you know, got my heart. And I say, I want, I want a puppy like that. And he goes, well, she's going to have a puppy. And then I say, okay, so I want one. And, uh, you know, and the story goes and Prada came to our home and she was totally amazing. She was uh, a dog that, actually with her eyes spoke the truth and spoke from her soul and uh, we connected so well it was incredible she was you know with me every step of the way and when they i decided i'll say well i i think i'm gonna have puppies i'm gonna have paradas puppies and then uh, we have paradas puppies but the thing you know, has a, a different twist of just having puppies, right? Mm -hmm. So all the, the journey that, that we had um, through her kids growing and, and everything, um, I posted in Facebook mm -hmm. and I created a page for the dogs in Facebook. And, and, and as, I, as they were growing, people were also um, growing with them in their love for the puppies and, and for Prada. And um, until one day Prada got sick with cancer. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when, the, you know, everything was um, very, very difficult to understand that such a beautiful dog with such a beautiful personality and everything, how come, you know, cancer came to be and um, in her. So, um, we went through a different stages through this and we we fought to save her yeah in many ways and until finally we got the doctor specifically that helped her survive this cancer and then through her vet and her doctor and oncologist we we for that so it, it is a, it's a beautiful story because it's it's uh the 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 joining of people love um compassion empathy and uh, you know the way people always worry about prada and what was going on with the kids and and all these things that to get got together that made me a stronger person a beauty, a, a, and somebody that that wanted to show how the beautiful way dogs connect people together and the people strangers strangers from all over the world follow us and in our page in facebook and they through that journey they they even go more attached to us yeah and that's when when they help us um with through different things help us pay for the American bills and all this stuff. So I said, well, you know, there is a way that I, I, I got to find a way to pay back all the beautiful help that I receive. And since people love my dog so much, through the screen, 
right? So I had to find a way that I can give to the back to the community all the blessings that we receive. So that's when we decided to be therapy dog teams. And that's wow. how our journey continue to mm -hmm. into the community in the real life with people. Okay. So Prada's legacy lives on through the other therapy dogs and everything. Tell yes. us a bit about that. How does that support, um, you know, the connection between humans and dogs and how it benefits? Talk to me a little bit about that. Yes, it's, it's important to understand that dogs have a different sense that we, we usually think. Uh, okay, I have a dog and he's a beautiful dog and he's super playful and he's joke. But then you have to realize the dog also has a purpose. And if you help the dog to, to find that purpose and you give them the opportunity to really work for, for things that, that you teach them to be, to love, to, to find ways to connect is is extraordinary to see how the dogs react and how the connection you have with the dog can help you even in your own in, in the ways that you don't even imagine yeah. for example when you when you're sad when you are anxious when you have a problem and there, out of the blue, the dog comes to your side and sits with you and uh, the dog licks your face, licks your hand. And, and that is a, it's a connection that you feel even more than, than just, oh, is the dog trying to annoy me? No, is the dog trying to com comfort you? Mm -hmm. Because they feel, they mm -hmm. know, they know you feel that, that situation. So... It's important to know that dogs have a sense and has a purpose much more than, than we as humans usually yeah. give them. The importance that they have in our life is extraordinary. So yeah. we, we work with that. And, and that's how when you do therapy dog work, is the essence that, that give you the power to connect more people with a dog, with my dogs. And, and that's the, the beauty of it. How does it work with children? Talk to me like you you go somewhere. Talk to me, what do you do yeah. in a mini program? Give us a little summary. Yes. Um, when I started to work with Charlie, um, Charlie Brown, well, let me tell you a little bit of this. Uh, every dog had different personalities yeah. right there's dogs that are very hyper there are dogs that are very calm there are dogs that are like very nervous so you when you do therapy dog work you the dog has to fit where they you want them to go right so charlie brown is excellent with kids because he's very calm and he doesn't leak so when he's at the same level with the kid sitting in a carpet, he is, you know, he knows what to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we started, we, we went to the libraries, the different public libraries. And we have a system, a program called Furry Tales, where the kids read to the dog. Oh. And the beauty of it is that the dog doesn't judge. The dog doesn't criticize. The dog, the dog doesn't correct the kid when they read. So they, they, you give the opportunity for the kid to have more confidence in itself yeah. to, to read, right? So I'm just there holding on to Charlie. Yeah. And if they need my help, I help. But it's all the connection between Charlie and the kids. So the kids read and they pet Charlie and they touch his paw and, and they, you know, they feel relaxed when he, they're with him. So after seeing how the kids react to Charlie and how well they feel when they're with Charlie, I say, well, this is incredible. The kids, you know, have, have that connection with him. Mm -hmm. I sh it's when give me the idea that I can help even more 
when when the kids with the kids and there is another part of it is that that I was very inspired by the work I do at the Nicola Children's Hospital where I visit kids in the psychiatric ward the kids that are very troubled kids that are anxious and depressed and all that stuff and when I come in with my dog they completely change their attitude they drop their words and they feel comfortable they feel honest they relax and be, and and they smile. So yeah. I say, well, you know, I have to make a connection between the positive, being positive, being uh, helping with the mental health, helping with their their attitudes, and Charlie. So that's why I, I created Charlie, a wax of wisdom, with a with this program, and we do workshops and we talk about positivities. Um, um, moments uh, that we can find ways to improve as human beings, empathy, compassion, and helping them, you know, and, and since Charlie is there, they, they see with Charlie, they pet him, they, they play with Charlie, and they relax, and they are more open to understanding mm -hmm. all the positive ways they can be, and how empathy between him and, and the kids work together. So it's a, it's a very good you know, position where where the kids feel comfortable with Charlie there. Yeah. So it helps us understand better the human so, side. In terms of walking with Prada, this is Prada's life and her story, isn't it? Like in terms yes. of what it's, know, it's a it's 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 a little bit of it's a it's a story. Um, it's a, like a, a little memoir okay. of a years of, of my life, right? Because you also learn a little bit about me. Yes. Yes. Uh, a little bit of my, my upbringing and how I get to be where I am. Mm -hmm. And uh, my fears, my vulnerabilities, my strength, my power as a human to help others. And oh. it's such a beautiful and important part in my life that I was able to express through the papers, through the pages, through the words, mm -hmm. my feelings. Yeah. And how important this is uh, the detriment uh, is, a, is, is such a, a important factor in my life right now. Yeah. Because here people know they, they, they can really understand yeah in my journey yeah and who where I am. Come from and why did it come yeah. to what you're doing right now and things like that it's mm -hmm. not like yours and Prada's memoir <laughs> together yes uh, all, all at once and yeah that's beautiful I love it. Yeah. How did it because you had not started writing it how long did it actually take you to write um write yeah. it out? I think it was uh, I started writing it May 2nd which was Prada's birthday. Yes. In May 2nd. And you came to and, the uh, we had, program? Yeah, we had the retreat May, I think it was May 7, 8, and 9. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that's where um, most of the, the the story started to unravel. And and then when I spoke to Stuart, and, and he gave me the idea so how to follow it, because that was... That was essential to to start writing, right? Yeah. The the outlining of of every chapter and all that stuff. So and and also uh, the the good thing is that I had documented in Facebook in my page. Yes, you did all all the all the visits that I have done mm. with my dogs, yeah. right? So it helped me also to remember. Yeah, all the the process, and uh, I include in the book many of those posts yeah. because it's important. They were they were the um the connection between my thoughts, my my way of thinking, my and my, and my actions, yeah. and how people reacted to it. So it's it's it was like everything is like a little machine that went go. It was going through so so wonderfully oiled yeah. that it, it, it was perfect. It was perfect. And then putting together the pictures, 
Yeah, my goodness. Was a lot. Process. Yeah, it's a lot of pictures. Lot. Um, more than 200 pictures in the book. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what do you think for me? I'm, I'm a huge in pictures. I yeah. mean, I believe the power of pictures. Right. And uh, I think that the pictures complemented the book in so many ways. Yes. Because one thing is to read about something going on, but then you see you see the faces of the dogs and your feet. You see the, the, the what, where we were. It's, it was important yeah. to connect the pictures and the book in the book. So all that it was a lot of work. Yes, I can yeah. tell. Uh, I tell you that. Um, but it, it was, was tirelessly. I, I know so you stayed it. up till midnight and because obviously our, your afternoon is our mornings and back yes. when we did the program, we were two hours later. So we were all uh, talking to each other at 10 p.m. at midnight. It was, you, you did amazing. Yes. I think you were so committed and disciplined yeah. around. Things. You know what? Something, something that was very um important to me was that um I was very apprehensive mm -hmm. and and I had I, I, I doubted myself mm -hmm. so much when I started doing this because English is my second language yeah right I speak Spanish originally and uh, writing in English and even though I've been here for 34 years and I was an a ISO student and I and it took me a while to to learn the language it was it was important to me that when i wrote it that people understood my thoughts not just in in, in the way i was thinking them but also in the fluency of it yeah so i was so happy when the editor maddie she's from canada um she wrote i, I was so afraid of it no. But when I sent my manuscript, I was so afraid of it. I said, she will scratch every single word. Everything is going to be red <laughs> all over. I was, I was so afraid of it. And then she's like, oh, my God, I cannot believe English is your second language. You, you wrote it so well. It's so fluent. I, like, oh, oh. Oh. I, I couldn't breathe when I was reading that letter. It was such an amazing accomplishment for me. Oh. And uh, after that, it's like she understood that my I was, you know, and my English is, is not the perfect, but I try my best. I Google stuff I, and I learn, I listen, I YouTube videos and and I learned a lot from you and Stuart and everybody in the in the group and during the retreat. It was amazing. So it's, it was it yeah. was such an I, adventure. You did, you did wonderful and you really stuck it out, you know, and you hit your goals and you you kept moving through and like it's just, you know, I think it's a huge accomplishment from ground zero, absolutely nothing to seven months later. You know, we've got this book ready for Christmas and um yes. and you I have to say, you know, you are, you know, the perfect student in terms of we said do this, mm -hmm. you went out and did that. Do that. And to deal with two hundred images, guys, those of you that are listening, is not a small feat. That is actually the most a uh, time consuming part of pulling it all together is getting all the images organized and where they're gonna go. And two hundred I normally have had twenty or thirty in some of my books and that's been annoying. <laughs> let alone mm -hmm. the amount of um, photographs that you have included. So congratulations. How was the rest of the process? Obviously, the publishing, you started off with editing. How, how did you feel you went through that publishing? Oh, it, it, it was incredible. <laughs> um, from the, the cover, um, it was so smooth mm. to get everything done. And uh, the cover, the words, the letters, I, I, I mean... You, everything was such a integrated yeah. um, 
process that um, it was wonderful and the publishing and putting together everything and uh, my my little request here and there and like oh and then the waiting all night to get the answer back and then put it together yeah. again <laughs> and it was it was it was fun it was fun and I, I'm so appreciative of Nick of Julie yeah. uh, Vivian and um, Velin yeah. that put together the book I mean, it was an amazing team, and yeah. I consider you guys friends. And, yeah, and so I can't wait to come bliss. back. Come back and have the, other, yes, the yes. Dinner, dinner after our original lunch because it was so. I know, and we and we have to have a picture with the book. Remember, yes, real, real life with, picture. The real life picture because we had a picture, and uh, Stuart's like, she yes. doesn't have a book. Yes, I yes. mean. Uh, that, yeah, that was, it was funny. It was cool, like, but it was so powerful meeting you face to face at the yes. very beginning of the journey because it's always a little bit, it's a different level of closeness that you end up having with someone when you have met face to face and then you're just, you know, working on online and all that sort of stuff. Oh, so no, definitely, yeah. and yeah. then meeting you guys and, and seeing the enthusiasm mm -hmm. that Stuart and you uh, gave at the at the minute and and. And you guys believe on the on the story on my journey. Absolutely, absolutely. And that, I mean, when like, okay, yeah, don't, don't even think about it, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> and you, and I'm thankful for for my husband Miguel that that, that you know help me and support yeah. me and my kids and everybody that understood my and moments of I'm reading. Really the book even hit number one Amazon bestseller recently. Yes. Was it a week or two ago? So that's that's yes. another accolade. Yeah. It's gonna have its uh, little stamp there. So, um, yeah. where can people buy the book, Sylvia? Where can people get? Yes, the book? they they can go to my my website is uh, www.walkingwithprada.com. There we go. And you can buy the book there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful it's photo down. here as well. Yeah, um, that's Prada, Charlie yeah. Lalik, and Uncle Spikey. Oh, yeah. beautiful. That's so, Uncle Spikey. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, oh. and then they can buy the book there and they can contact me if they have any questions or anything. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we love to, to say. So walkingwithprada.com, yes. very easy to remember. Um, mm -hmm. No funny spelling here. And also, mm. if you do want the Kindle version, it's available online. On yes, all, online. It's available. Sellers. But if you want a signed copy, I'm sure if you get it from Sylvia's website, she'll she'll mm -hmm. get that for you. So congratulations! Yeah. I'm so so excited Thank you. for you and and all of the things that you're doing with children and helping those with anxiety, depression, and the life coaching. It will be mm -hmm. you know you're making an impact on the future generation and how the world is so yes um you've got a gorgeous heart i can't wait to have you in my life ongoing <laughs> um you know because you're yes. just the fittest person i even got gifts for my children uh when i first met sylvia which yeah. were like mindset little quotes and stickers and things like that which was beautiful yeah. so i really appreciate yeah. it Guys, go and get yeah. this book. It's a wonderful Christmas present for a family. Thank you. Um, and um, and check out what Sylvia has and some of her strategies and things like that of how she uses um, animals or dogs specifically for therapy. Um, and good luck, Sylvia. Let's catch up Thank in you. a month's time because you've had, had wonderful um, feedback and reviews. You're about yes. to post some of your reviews on your website as well mm -hmm. um, in terms mm -hmm. of you have, uh, read it. So... I can't wait to see where the journey is in six to 12 months time. Yeah, I'm very happy people has been very receptive to it, very um, given and they recognize the stories and they know it. And and it's, it's, I mean, many comments are like, I cannot put the book down and I, I'm reading it. So it, it makes me happy because that was, you know, the, 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 the mission. Beautiful, and there is Make it a, uh, there is a website. Uh, sorry, a Facebook page. Uh, Walking with Prada is that the name of it? No, or? it's Prada's bunch of friends. Uh Prada's bunch of friends. In case you want to check that Facebook page, yeah, fan page that started all of this. Uh, yes. worldwide following of Prada mm -hmm. and how everything came yeah. about. Beautiful, yeah. awesome, well, guys. Thank you so Thank much, Sylvia. 
Happy Thanksgiving, of course. Yeah, Sylvia's based over in Miami. Thank you, Florida. thank you, thank you. Their weekend, the big weekend over there. And uh, for the rest of you, it's normal week here in Australia. So go and smash out some of your goals for this week. The year is coming to a, a close soon. Uh, people are winding down, but there's still some time to achieve lots of awesome things in the next couple of weeks. All right, guys, I'll see you next week with another one of my uh, freshly published authors. And I'll talk to you soon. Go and smash it out. Bye.